Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing with the Topaz Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty and also the Mini Too Faced Glitter Collection. Um, I can open it. So yeah, we're just going to have some fun, create like a fun glitter eye. Um, I really want to do it in depth this time, um, but obviously you can see my face is already done. So let's jump into the video and if you guys can, obviously like, subscribe and comment down below. So yeah, let's jump feet for 3-3 brush. I'm going to go in, in the Too Faced palette with the shade On A Roll and we're just going to place this like above the crease, so just here. And it doesn't have to be perfect now, but obviously you can see kind of where the colour's been placed. And then I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty one. And you want to take like a shade that's not as dark as say the brown, but in between. So I'm going to grab this like mustard shade in Topaz Obsessions on the same brush. And put this through my crease. And then I'm going to the end of the brush just for a lighter pressure to blend out, blend in the two colours together. And it's okay if it comes below the crease. So now I'm going to go in to the Too Faced one. And I'm going to grab on the same brush this dark brown and it's called Can't Catch Me. And I'm just going to pick a little bit up and put this like on the outer V. So I'll show you in a second where I've placed it. And you wanna keep that dark brown shade below the crease, cause you don't want it above the crease, um, cause it'll look crazy. You just wanna keep that below the crease and then obviously you can blend it out into the crease and it'll create like a nice effect. But you don't wanna to go too high with that dark brown. The reason why I'm doing like an in-depth Christmas look is because one of my really good friends, Robin, so Robin, if you're watching this, hi, um, she asked, she bought some of my recommendations um, that I used and she really wanted me to do like an in-depth eye look. Um, so this is why I'm doing that and obviously I think it'll help a lot of people kind of know how to blend this out. It's really about not placing a lot of product on at the start and just blend it, blending and blending until you're happy with the look. Obviously I can't have like the full unedited thing because I think that'll be about two hours but. So yeah, this is how it's blended and this is how it should kind of look or how I would want it to look. So now I'm going to go in to a big blending brush so it's quite a long one, but it's a Morphe, it's a Morphe 330, and I'm just going to get the shape that I want now from using all them colours, because I want it to be quite like blown out. So basically, you just kind of blow it out like this. You want to drag it out, and it will take a while. It's a lot of patience with blending. Sorry about the seagulls. So I'm gonna go back in with that dark brown. I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown and like, cause I've blended it out, I've lost some color. So I'm just gonna build the brown up again. I 
and then back in with the Morphe 330 and I'm just blending this out a tiny bit so right now it's looking like this as you can see I've pulled it out a little bit so yeah that's how it's looking now to apply the glitter with this NYX glitter primer so it looks like this that's how much I like use at the glitter primer and I put it on the back of my hand just because I like find it hard to control if not so I just I'm just using picking this up with a Morphe 421 brush which looks like this but any flat brush will do and I'm just gonna apply this like a half cut my crease so where there's no concealer um, where there's no colour, sorry. So, as you can see, I've kind of cut it there with the glitter primer. And then, so as you... It looks like this where I've put it. So, I've stopped just before I've really gotten into that dark brown shade. Find frost yourselves which is this top one here and I'm just going to pick it up on the same brush and I'm just going to the best thing is patting it on rather than dragging it different brush just a clean flat brush which is the Morphe 167 and I've just picked it up and I'm just patting it in applied the pigment um, really nicely the glitter is applied really nicely should I say with that and then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 330 brush in the shade Can't Catch Me which is that dark brown shade and I'm just going to use this to kind of blend out the edges so it's not so like obviously there so yeah that's how the eye looks it's blended out a bit more it's really hard to get like full a full precise blending out when you use like full on glitter um but yeah just make sure there's not like a really out there line because it will look silly sometimes just dabbing over the glitter the end of the glitter with the dark color will help just so there's a bit of a line there that's all that's how it's looking so far obviously it's really winged out it's quite intense it's not for everyone but this would be really nice on like Christmas day or if you're going for a meal so yeah but I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna go do the other eye apply some lashes and then I'll be back to do my under eye and apply lipstick with you all as you guys can see my lashes are on um, I've just been using the same ones because obviously they just come off straight off they come off straight after the video so for underneath my eye I'm going to go in with a, like a really light colour just so it remains the glitter remains like the pop of everyone's attention and I'm going to go into a, a Zoeva 230 which looks like this and then I'm going to go into like the Huda Beauty like light orange shade and just run this underneath my eye and then I'm just going to do my lashes with mascara some brow gel to my top lashes I didn't apply like loads of stuff um, just because I'm filming after this but yeah, just applied some brow gel, um, nothing too fancy, I haven't put any pomade in. But yeah, so for my lips, I'm going to go in with like a very different colour for me, but I really want to try something new because I've been using nudes. It is the Revolution Pro, like the sets that you get, um, and I think this is in the pink set, and this is Candy Sweet. It looks like this. And I'm going to go in with a liner today and it is the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury just so I can like get a good line. So I'm going to go in all over my lips with Candy Sweet.
also this is candy sweet it's so bright i really like it i would never really wear these colors usually but it looks really nice on the lips so i'm going to go in with this lime crime diamond crusher on the top it is in the shade dope so it looks like this That looks stunning with that on top. Oh, I really like that. I never actually really played with these, but I've had these for, had these for quite a while. Yeah, this is Candy Sweet and then the Diamond Crusher by Lime Crime. But yeah, this is the finished look, everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next. Subscribe and give my big vid and give my video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.